Are we even gonna make it? Onyx. Anyways, we're gonna do a bit of a stealth here. At least try to. Uh, we're in downtown St. Joe. Then uh, it looks like a nice little park and bridge and river walk over there. We're gonna go check that out after we get some food going. But I'd like to do all my outside stuff, like cooking and cleaning and stuff now. That way so we can go for this little walk. And by the time we're done exploring, checking stuff out, we get right to the truck where we can start. Anyways, uh, we're having steak tacos. I was gonna do chicken tacos, but steak was just sound a little bit better. The dog. He's not used to being on anything. Like his collar is literally just for show. So I only put it on to leave the house. It's a little windy, and the audio may not be the best because now this microphone keeps popping up on the screen saying it's not supported. So, there's that. So hopefully it's using this audio and not that audio, but who knows? This might be a crap video too.
Go on, man. You're tripping me up. Yeah. You know, knocking me over out here. Do the motorcycle. Rum, rum, rum. I know you can't run off when I do that. Looks done enough to me. What about you? Done enough to you? You don't care. We didn't see that through the steam or not. Looks delicioso. I know your dad's not that bright. It's a leaf. Are you gonna eat a leaf? Maybe. Did you spit it out? Did you eat it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Can you wait? Okay. So the dog doesn't try to eat it. That's all right. What well, can it? I tell you, dog. Well, I guess we're gonna eat this real quick, guys, and then we're gonna go do some exploring. So, uh, let me eat this, and I'll see you in just one second.
we just got back from that nice little walk. Uh, met a couple people. Onyx made a friend. They didn't want to be on camera, which I don't blame them. I, I don't even really want to be on camera either. Uh, I mean, it's peaceful out there. We ended up walking onto a golf course. I didn't even know it. You watching your friend leave? Yeah. So it's almost, I mean, it's dusk right now. So we probably got another 15 minutes of this. And then uh, we're going to hop in the truck. I mean, we could probably just hop in the truck now. You're a good dog, you know that? Yeah, they're leaving. You'll never see him again. You'll never see him again. Well, guys, we're back in the truck. It is getting towards that hour. We're going to hang out in here. Let it get the rest of the way dark. Maybe watch some uh, some of those free documentaries. I catch up on Quaddy. Way behind on him. That's about it. Uh, we had to pay to park here. I forgot to mention that. It wasn't bad. It was. I think it's, it's ten bucks for an all day or five bucks for three hours. The problem is, is the kiosk over there is it was probably shut down for winter. But uh, so I paid online. I was looking at the hours. I assumed they closed, you know, at night, you know, park hours or whatever, but I wasn't 100%. Sure enough, they closed at 10, so we'll uh, <laughs> we'll see if we can get kicked out. I bought an all-day one, and I'm just going to play dumb. You know, if we get kicked out of here, if the cops come out here or something like that, I'm just going to play dumb, but nicer. I mean, it's actually in a really nicer part of town, but that's also what worries me. They're going to see a truck parked here at night, and like, what the hell's going on? But yeah, uh, that's it. The bridges are pretty cool. I didn't even know, like, I didn't even know none of this stuff was ever here. And I've driven around here quite often, but the dog had fun. Kept trying to chase everything. He does not know, he doesn't know what to do when he's on a leash. Like he's left, right, left, right, left, right, trying to pull him back and forth. But as soon as he hits the end of the leash, he doesn't like pull me. He just like, you know, nudges it, stops, and then waits for me to catch up. And then takes off, you know, three steps and stops and waits for me to catch up. Well, yeah, we're gonna sit back, relax, watch a little bit of TV, and then crash out. I'm probably gonna try to. I think I'm gonna set an alarm for like six or so. Six thirty. I'd like to get up and out of here before, like all the traffic really starts coming in. I guess by then it wouldn't really matter though, because it's just the next day. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, I guess we'll just catch you in the morning. Oh, good morning. It's like... It's just after 6. Just after 6. And, uh... Slept pretty good. I mean... Nothing really bothered us. Nothing really happened. Car pulled in a little bit ago. Just turned around and left. So I guess he's probably got to go to the bathroom. I got one light on back there, hoping it's not too horribly bright or noticeable, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, so we're going to sneak out of here. We've had us a little nightlight the whole night, but we're going to sneak out of here and make our way back home. Oh. I suppose I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, probably gonna do some more stealthers like this. This was, I mean, it was different. It was kind of all right. Uh, as for the giveaway, you guys don't forget about the giveaway. We get 500 subscribers. We're gonna give away like a $50 Visa gift card or something survival from that survival shop or something. We're, we're gonna give, we're gonna give some stuff away. So, uh, we're almost there, but we only have like, I think three people that did it so far. So your chances right now are 33%. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you to everybody that's subscribed and watched so far. And, uh, 
I guess we'll get you our next one.